Hi guys, Mr B here and today we're going to be looking at place value. We're going to be looking at reading numbers all the way up to 100 million and being able to write them as well. Okay, now this number on the board here is a number in the 100 millions. And when you're first looking at that, if you've not read numbers like that before, if you've not wrote them, it looks like it's going to be really hard to read. But it's really quite simple. Okay, as you can see above, we've got our place value grid. Okay, so we basically break each section into three and that will help us. So you can see obviously we've got our hundred section here, which is our hundreds, tens and ones. Then we've got our thousand section, which are our hundred thousands, ten thousands and thousands. And then we've got our million sections, which is hundred millions, ten millions and millions. Okay, so obviously if we've got a grid, what we can do is we can put the numbers in. Three, four, six, two, three, one, two, three, two. Okay, and then we can see because I've got those lines in there, separate them into two, or sorry, into three different sections. All we need to do is read each section with our header at the end of it. I'll show you what I mean. So here, number there. If we've got a three-digit number, three hundred and forty-six million. 231,232. Okay, so I'll put that all together. 346,231,232. That means if I can read at any three digit number, I can read any number up to 100 million and beyond. So it makes it much easier if you break it into three. Obviously, you won't always have this grid, so what you can always do. It's literally breaking number into three. So if I just had this number here and I didn't have my grid, I'd go one, two, three, okay? One, two, three, and there we are there. Again, we've got it, and we know. In that section, you'd have to remember, this is your hundreds, this is your thousands, this is your millions, so you'd have to remember that yourself, okay? Now, always when you're doing your threes, work from this way, because if you're working from that way, if you had a number like this, let's just take the 300 million off the front, If you worked, broke it into three from this way, it wouldn't work because you wouldn't have three on the end. So you'd have to work, oh, just get rid of the one. You'd have to work this way. Okay, so in that case, easier because I've only got a two digit number there 46,231,232. Okay, another number I want to look at is this one. Okay, so we've got again. A big number that we need to read but this one has a number of zeros in the middle and I'll show you why this one might be a little bit trickier we'll bring it into three like I said before so we've got a three there remember working from this side three there so we can see I've got 24 million haven't got any thousands 340 okay now I'm just putting this one up there to remind you when we say numbers we don't say 24 million no thousand three hundred and forty if there's nothing in that section we would just ignore it. So we'd say 24,340, which means that you're not seeing your numbers in the wrong way. Okay, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, share it if you know anyone that might find uh, useful at all, and if you need any help or anything like that, put a comment down at the bottom of the video and I'll see if I can help you. Till next time, see you later.